new colony to show you all, and this one I've had hidden away for quite some while. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's a new colony uh, to show you all today. This is my colony of Calamermex albertsi. So uh, I haven't heard too much about these uh, particular ants. I've had them for a little while. I caught the queen back in late 2018, around December. And um, at the moment, she's got four workers. Ninidix have hatched uh, the first two. And then it looks like just some um, normal workers after that. And there is a bit of uh, brood there as well, as you can see, but we'll get up a little bit closer with that. So I've housed this colony actually in a 3D printed nest, and that is from Formica All-in-One Ant Farms. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get these if you'd like to have one yourself. Um, and there's a, a link and also a discount there for 15% off. So here we have a little bit of a closer look um, at the workers here and the brood that go along with it. Now one of the interesting things is these guys have decided to set up their nest in the test tube that I've got attached for uh, hydration for them, uh, rather than go inside the actual nest at this stage. Uh, they will eventually move in there though as they grow in size a bit. Um, they piled up a lot of the um, substrate inside the nest, like making it a little bit smaller, but I think they might have been a little bit daunted by the size there. But that's okay, they're very comfortable. They're an enjoyable ant to watch. Their little uh, abdomens, they pulsate uh, quite a bit when they're startled or if I go near them. The queen does this as well. So we can see there we've got the brood. Um, quite a nice bit of brood here. So it's just gone into winter here in Australia. So they will be slowing up. Um, but these guys seem to be developing and brood still, even now we're into the uh, colder months. These ants have the uh, fine little hairs all over them, and then they're known for that sort of pulsating. They do actually secrete um, a fluid as well when they are disturbed, and apparently that's to uh, stop people, stop um, other animals getting them. Apparently it's not toxic, um, but it just uh, wards off any predators. And here we have the queen, uh, just coming out for a bit of a look see there that abdomen pulsating a little bit as well quite an interesting um, ant these actually enjoyable to watch I've got another colony of these going as well and the Queen there has um, got a pair of wings still attached but again she's got a couple of workers already so she definitely is fertilized but I've decided to keep her because she's got wings so a little bit different so the progression here has taken about six months uh, to get to this size four workers and about half a dozen in the brood there as well, maybe up to 10 by the time you have all the eggs and the larvae and pupae uh, counted there as well. Quite an interesting ant, and um, I'm glad I'll be able to share it with you guys uh, here today. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this little bit of a brief look at a new colony, as you can see here in their little test tube setup. So thanks guys for watching, hope you've enjoyed this, uh, just a little short introduction video on this colony but I hope you enjoyed so uh, any comments down below would be appreciated and yeah thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't got some new uh, interesting videos coming your way shortly thanks very much for watching guys and happy ant keeping <laughs>